Welcome. This is a swim experiment in literature reflecting around Susan Sontag, Danilo Keys, and Joseph Brodsky, among others. I've been studying these thinkers quite a while but just recently I've been studying them in the light of these days these old times or new times how can we call them and it has been a bit tough, a little difficult for me, but very refreshing. Because it's not easy to reflect around these huge thinkers. Susan Sontag loved Danilo Key's writings. And Susan Sontag also wrote about Joseph Brodsky. And I don't know why Lawrence Stern also got my attention. I'm experimenting. I'm trying to meditate around art in these times. And meditating on that, I remember that the first time I read Against Interpretation, it's the title of one of Susan Sontag's books, Against Interpretation, I only read the title and I stopped. It really shocked me, reading against interpretation. These two words, these two words really made me think and think maybe for years before I could finish this book. Then the only way to read this book was reading it along with styles of radical will and with another beautiful Susan Sontag's work on photography maybe her most memorable work and I'm trying to read some excerpts in this channel. Uh, sorry if you can't follow where I'm going because I do not know where I'm going to. I don't know where I'm going either. If Because I wanted to connect Susan Sontag's thinking, mindset, with being Jewish. I am Jewish in a very peculiar way. Susan Sontag was Jewish in a very peculiar way. Daniel Kiss came from a Jewish family and for a Jew it's very well known 
a phrase that says that a Jew that doesn't practice Judaism or Judaism is not a Jew. But I stopped because I don't want this to generate other emotions that we all know are not very, very good for the beloved Israel country. So I stopped and tried to think about it again. But just for trying to give you the idea, it was why didn't these thinkers use the ancient knowledge of Judaism, which is ancient, far more ancient than the Greek culture, and instead they immersed in the Greek culture, the Occidental culture. There are many reasons, and in these little videos, you are going to find pieces of the puzzle. So please bear with me that you are going to listen to me very fragmented, stopping, stumbling, reflecting. But I hope that I will arrive to to a if not well constructed coherent construction of a conclusion or a few ideas that can help us to think a little more and from a different angle about Susan Sontag and all these great thinkers. Against interpretation Imagine that you are going to read a book, any book, and Susan Sontag tells you that she is against interpretation. How can this be? How can you avoid interpretation? Well, let's take the challenge. This is Gary. Welcome to this experiment.